What's going on everybody? It's Jay Rich back again with another one and today we are going to go over the setup and the features and functions of the Anytone Quad 6. But before we do, we've got a little more business to discuss before we get into the actual video. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and do so right here or down below. Click the subscribe and the bell and all that good stuff because that's how you get to win things like this. Antennas, microphones, all that good stuff. And we have two winners to announce. One, for rebranding the channel. And two, for just because I wanted to give one away because we hit 5,000 subscribers. So the first microphone we are giving away is to subscriber PNW Prospector. This person is the winner of the rebranding of the channel. He come up with the comment of J Rich Trucking Tips. And we're going to go with that with a slight, slight little twist to it. Uh, we're going to be, as you see down below, J Rich Trucking and CB Tips. So congratulations to PNW Prospector on winning your choice of whichever static microphone you want. Now the next winner, just for the 5,000 subscribers giveaway, in which you have to be a subscriber to win. Some of you were not subscribers and you tried to slide in on me. Didn't work, sorry. But for that winner is gonna be Jordan Jacobs. You get the choice that uh, the other winner does not get, um, whichever microphone he doesn't want, that's the one that you're gonna get. Uh, so I'll be contacting you through Instagram on, on that. So now let's move on to the video that you came to see is the functions and the setup of the Anytone AT6666, also known as the Quad 6. In a later video, we are going to look at the power across all bands that being AM, FM, upper side band, and lower side band. So watch for that video coming up. Let's get on with it. All right, so first thing, when you hook up your Anytone Quad 6 and you turn the radio on, and keep in mind, this thing is all digital, so it shows you your, your volume and everything is in numbers, your squelch, is in numbers uh, while you still have a dial so you know it's just I guess a nice little feature and um, if you find a certain level of volume or squelts that you'd like to keep it on whenever you come in you can always check and go right to that number but when you turn the radio on you're in ham mode which is in the ham channels of FM and all that um, you know you don't have like AM and FM uh, but you do have the different bands starting with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, or H and I. That's it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get this to CB mode. So you're going to turn the radio off. <coughs> Your band button and your menu button hold those down at the same time turn the radio on and here you have HF band and if you turn the, the uh, your channel knob one you have CB band so we're gonna uh, let's see hold the menu yep hold the menu button down now we're on the CB, um, on, uh, we're on uh, 11 meter now instead of 10 meter. Uh, before it was 10 meter, now we're on 11 meter. So as you see, it says we're in FM and we're on A. We need to get this to um, AM. So you're gonna use your mode button and your mode button goes FM, AM, upper side band, lower side band, then PA, which 
who uses a PA? I guess some of you do. FM again, AM. Now this right here is your different frequencies. Um, you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, back to A. So on the on the 10 meter we had A through I. On the uh, on the 11 meter we got A through J. So we need to go to D. And now we are on the regular CB uh, channel. And as you see here, it displays frequency. And as you change the dial, right there is, um, it changes the frequency. Now for most of you, this is pretty much Chinese. You know, you don't uh, quite get the whole frequency numbers. So to quickly change this, from where you see the frequency numbers to see channel numbers, you'll hit your frequency button right here. See, now you're on channel one. We can go up, here's channel 19. And also, to change the channels quickly, if you push the channel button, it'll go up by 10 until it gets back to one. Uh, and then it goes up by 10 again, but it's it's 1, 11, 21, 31, and back to 1. But if you're on channel 4, 14, 24, 34, but then back to 1. So that's a quick way to navigate, uh, you know, say if you monitor two different channels sometimes. Uh, and we went through your band, that changes A, B, C, D. Your mode is going to change AM, FM, upper sideband, lower sideband. You have a memory button here where you can program different channels and, and, and quickly go through those. Uh, you have your emergency that directly goes to channel 9. Uh, we need to get off that. Okay, so just the turn of the dial will get you off of uh, the emergency. You have a dual watch right here, which you can see how it's changing from 9 to 19. So you can watch two different channels and you can program the other channel. Um, you know, I, I know like a lot of dump truck companies will run on a different channel. And I always like, when I, once I hit the interstate, I like to be on 19. So you, you can program whatever channel, say your company's on and, and uh, listen to 19 also you scan you hit scan it'll scan through the channels until it uh, usually till it picks up some static or somebody talking and it'll stop uh, I may have the squelch turned up too high for, high to catch anything but you know but it'll it'll scan for you now your menu got to hold the menu button first selection is the beep I like to turn that off so now it does not beep every time you hit a button your indicator what that will just do is right here in this area when you key up it can display your SWR I'll show you and let that go back let me get off a of 19 here Check, check, check audio. See, that's telling me what my SWR is. 1.4. Let's go back into the menu. Indicator. And it goes back to where you left off. Here's your <coughs> uh, talking time. I believe that's what that is. And your DC. 12.6 volts is what we got. Uh, 
and this right here I believe is your uh, talking time here check one two check one two and as you see it's counting down and once that counts down to zero uh, it, it'll it'll stop letting you talk um, I guess that keeps from getting the radio too hot you can you can turn that on and off we're getting to all that so let's go back into our menu and I'm gonna have it display which you can have it, have it have it off but I'm gonna have it display SWR uh, that's a good way to while I don't 100% trust what the radio is telling me um, because I like to use external meter but if that starts jumping up uh, too high then that might be an early indication that I have a problem somewhere with the antenna or the coax something like that so that's to me that's a good thing to kind of watch let's go back into our menu next is this is going to be your mic gain um, and these are these are factory settings um, 30 is is a good number for me um, if you go up too high uh, you could start squealing ah crap what did I do mic gain all right and this goes up to 36 I believe yeah from one up to 36 so so 30 is a good number next um, uh, NOG is going to be your talk back I do believe if I'm not mistaken audio check one two that is your talk back I don't know why it says NOG but but NOG is your talk back so um 20 is a good number for that, for me, anyways. Um, any, any louder, it gets annoying hearing yourself. So, uh, this is what I was talking about, your talking time. That's 180 seconds, uh, 210, 240, 300. So, if you're a long talker, you can adjust that up or just turn it off altogether. I'm not a long talker, so... I'll just turn that off altogether. Uh, your your TSR is your SWR protection. We're gonna leave leave that on. Uh, this is your DC protection. We're gonna leave that on. I'll get better at this, I'm sure, one day. All this SQ, TI, SQ, I, I'm not sure what that is yet. I have not figured that out. Uh, i sure somebody will tell me. The fine is going to be your, your clarifier right here. When you're on upper and lower sideband, you'll use that clarifier to, to tune in when you're receiving or when you're talking. And... I like to uh, I like to do it when I'm receiving, be able to fine tune somebody in. So I'm gonna have it on the R right there, and as you see, it comes up with a little bitty R right there. Our colors we have white, green, red, which on the camera that looks kind of orange, but off the camera it it's pretty darn red. We have yellow and purple and cayenne or cyan and back to white. I'm going to leave it on white because uh, the other gauges in the truck are white. Your That's a repeater and this is um, your frequency or your channel. So you can change that to display either frequency or channel, or you just do it right here with that frequency button. So I'm going to leave that alone. 
ASQ, I, I have no idea what. Oh, that's auto squelch. Auto squelch. So you, you can turn this from one to nine. And uh, yeah, that'll squelch out up to a certain point. But then you can still use the knob right up here to uh, squelch out more. D-I-M-F, I'm not sure. In there we have S-Time, F-Delay, C-Time, Star O-Time, Decode, TX-Distance. Uh, um, that might have something to do with your uh, with your bar right here. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to leave that stuff alone, really, because I don't know exactly what all that does. And then you have a reset where you can reset this all back to factory and start over. Uh, you've gotten it all out of whack, you know. And then we go back to one with the with the beep. Turn the beep on and off. Now for our next menu, we're gonna hold. Uh, we're gonna push the um, the the channel knob. We're gonna hold it in. And now you have high cut. You can turn that on or off. And we'll leave it off. NB. That's your noise blanker. We're going to turn that on, keep it on, on or off is what you have. And you see the little NB right there. Echo. Here is your Echo. I've already got a question about Echo. So Echo is either on or off on this radio. There is no external adjustment for, for the Echo. So the way it's set is what you get. Now, if you know what you're doing with this radio, you can go in and adjust the echo. If not, you probably take it to a, a, a CB shop that is familiar with these digital radios, which anybody who deals with Striker should be able to work on this radio with no problem. Audio. Echo. One, two, three, four. Echo. So that's not a bad setting. Um, I have heard other people with this radio, and, and the echo is just way off. I mean, it's it's just way timed out. It drags out so long, and you can't understand what they're saying. For me, that's pretty good. Check audio one two. Check audio one two. See, that's not a bad echo setting for me personally. Uh, that's not bad, but I'd like a little bit less. So with that being said, I'm just going to go in and turn that off for now. There's your 10 kilohertz. You can have that on or off. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess that gets you up the higher band. Roger beep. This has five Roger beeps. That's one. There's two. That one's very low. Hopefully you can hear it on the, uh, through the camera, I hope. Three. There's four. And five.
me personally, I like Roger Beeps off. I don't. I'm. I'm not a fan of Roger Beeps whatsoever. Um, and with that being said, I'll keep the rest of my comments about Roger Beeps to myself. DIMF. I'm not sure what what BOT, EOT, and call is. I mean, it's that's off. Um, the BOT is there's no selection for off or on. EOT is off. Uh, maybe you have to be on different frequency for whatever that is to work. Uh, maybe that's an upper sideband thing, lower sideband thing, or an FM thing. I, I'm not sure what those do. Uh, like I said, I'm still exploring this radio, and I think I got it about figured out. All right, everybody, there you have it. Those are some of the features and the functions of the Anytone AT6666 which is an amazing radio there are tons and tons of features to this radio and all of this is in stock form i've not went through and 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 had anything changed or tuned up or nothing like that so stay tuned for the next video when we put the dozy meter on there and we go through all the bands and looking at the power that this radio puts out out of the box and I'll also give you a report of how far away I am reaching with this radio. So until then, go ahead and watch a playlist and subscribe. I very much appreciate you guys watching. I'm Jay Rich. Y'all keep your knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.